You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and it's Easy Bake Oven time. I'm going to grab some of my Easy Bake Ovens and now go through some of the mixes that you still have not seen on video. Now, I have a bunch of these older ones, and I've always shied away from making them, thinking, eh, you know, you can't get them anymore. But I think it might be fun for everybody to see, because there's ones in here that I have not even made in any of the ovens that I've done. Now, if you're not familiar with Lucky Penny Shop, I've done every single oven that uh, Easy Bake ever made throughout its history in pretty much chronological order. Now, they also had a bunch of branded mixes, like this one here, the Little Brats, the Shrek, there's also a My Little Pony, which I have not done on video. And then I have some stuff like this one here for the blender. So I thought, well, this might be fun. It gives me a chance to bring out the ovens again and kind of show you some of the different mixes that were available. So what I'm going to do is what I thought, well, I'm not going to do Little Brats. That'll be next. Or the Shrek, that is a wedding cake bake set, or this. Like I said, though, I do have more, so I thought I have never done like this chocolate fudge or vanilla fudge. I don't even know if it gets baked. I have no idea. So I thought, well, let me break out some of these older ones, and that's what I'm going to do today. So what I'll do is I'll come back with the actual oven that went with these. I'm going to mix up my ovens a little bit, but I thought for the first video, why not grab the oven for the year that these mixes were available? So let's do that. We'll check out the oven, and then I'll open up and we'll check out these mixes. Okay, here we go. This was the oven that the mixes came out around the same time. The mixes are from 87. The oven is from 88, but it's the one that was used for those particular mixes. Now you will see it says now in its 25th year, so it was a 25th anniversary oven. Now I have a video of this one here showing you all the original parts, how it works, and I bake something in it. Today we're not gonna concern ourselves too much with the oven, but more with these new mixes. All right, so that's the oven we're going to use, just for a reference, it's from the 80s. Let's move on now and check out these mixes and learn more about those. All right, here we go. So this is the mixes I have that came out in this era. I have more, but this is just what I'm showing you today. These are from the 80s, just like that oven. Now this one does say for mom's oven and dual temp oven only, and so does that one. So that's why I'm going to bring out that particular oven for today. These other ones, I'm going to use other ovens on. So I hope you can, well, I hope you'll enjoy me bringing back a lot of my Easy Bakes. Now this one, of course, is Kenner. It's the four pack. Let's turn these over. Just so you can see the backs, they are different. Trying to avoid all that glare. Make all of the food shown here with these or other Easy Bake mixes. Now you can make these in any oven, except for maybe that fudge. Maybe that one required a lower temperature. So we'll have to see. So I'm gonna move this one out. And let's open this pack. How exciting, I don't know, are you excited? I'm excited. Excited because I get to bring out all the ovens that I have and I'll just kind of mix them up. Unless I have a specialty pack like the Shrek or the Little Brats. The Little Brats that I showed you earlier, there is a Little Brats oven. So why not bring out that oven when I'm doing that? Because that would have come out around the same time. All right, so these come in these boxes. Look at that. Now I'm going to hold off on these. Okay. For now, this was the... Devil's Food Cake, and then this is the frosting, so that would be a video. I do want to check these out. All right, let's see. Makes one pan of vanilla fudge. Yes, my oven at 325, or preheat the dual temp oven at the low setting for 15 minutes. See, there we go. Let's see what's inside. Okay, yeah. There we go. So that looks like it's in pretty rough shape. Oh, it's still soft. Okay, so that's supposed to be vanilla fudge, but from the envelope, it almost looks completely brown. So that's the whole exciting part, I guess. Okay, this one does look a little bit darker, doesn't it? Let's see, all right, so still soft. So it looks like I'll be able to use these, and uh, when I come back then, I'll have the oven back. We'll have the water, because we'll just follow this, and then we will, uh, Make the fudge. All right, when I plugged that oven in and started smelling it heating up, it just reminded me of all the Easy Bake videos I have done. 
If you can, if you haven't watched any of those, please do. It'll help the channel a lot. And for those of you that are reflecting back with me, you're going to see some stuff that I've used in the past on those videos. It's kind of nice to be able to use it again. All right, so I'm going to break this up a little bit. The direction said, ask mom to preheat oven or low setting for 15 minutes. Now it has been, I got my phone off to the side. Come on clock. I have six minutes left for the preheat. So I thought this would be a good time to start. Pour contents into mixing bowl. All right. Hmm. It's not as bad as I thought color wise. Smell wise. I'm not getting anything that says food, okay? <laughs> so that's kind of why I'm doing these, just to kind of have that experience. Some will turn out, some may not turn out, depending on the mixes, right? Okay, so that's crushed up pretty good. And then one teaspoon of water. I know it doesn't seem like a lot, does it? But it almost seems like this is supposed to be somewhat doughy, because it says... Place mixture in center of... Oh, lightly grease the pans. I'll do that in just a second. I have time. Well, this will take a while to mix. Give me a little better shot there. Here we go. I do have some protection down on my countertop. Now, that does not look white. Look at the picture. It more looks like the doily underneath than the actual cheesecake. Let's just say it's aged cheese, huh? It is very doughy. I'm feeling it now just based on this and the way it's sticking. Now in the past, I rarely ever made adjustments. I just ran with it because that's, that's what they recommended, so. But I guess that's what's gonna keep it giving that fudgy kind of appearance. Hey, that one looks pretty good. There you go. A little bit more mixing. Got a nice lump of dough. Look at that. Okay, let me scrape that off. Okay, I think that one's pretty good. It's almost sticky, like really hard to move in there. All right, then let's take, here, we'll put this back over here so we can look at that. Let's take the chocolate one. Same thing. Okay, soften it up a little. Let me grab another spoon here. Well, no, I can mix with this one. I'll mix with that one. It's a little soft on the end, but it should work. That one looks better. Let's give it a, let's give it the official test. It does not, it does not, I repeat, smell like chocolate. I wanna say a tad musty in smell, but we will see. Sometimes it smells like that before you bake it, and then when you bake it, it uh, actually isn't too bad. So let me grab another spoon. I gotta remind myself to bring more supplies. In the past, I'd probably have a half dozen spoons just off to the side. So if I needed something in a hurry, I can grab it. Let me check my time here. Okay, I have two minutes before full warm up. Trying to break up those chunks. I didn't clean this one up as much as I did the other one. Seems to actually be a better consistency. In the old days, the old days, look at me. The old days, in the olden days, I used to use butter. I have used butter. Today I just grabbed the spray because you can use that too. I actually prefer the butter for my pans. 
but I thought for a complete coverage, use the spray. This one seems drier, doesn't it? See, from one box to the next, you're getting a different consistency. There we go, it's starting to all stick now. Okay, let me use this here. Gotta grab one of my paper towels. This way we don't cross two mixes into each other. I think my timer's gonna go off and it's gonna affect the headphone users out there. Let's see. 43 seconds. All right, I'll come back to that. Let's get these sprayed. These pans are close to the era, but a little bit older than what would have come with this set originally. Okay, let's get this one in here. Now it said press them into place. Let's put that there. Let's clean this up a little bit more. All right, that timer's gonna go off. Hold on just a second. For those of you with headphones, there we go. Stopped it as quick as possible. Hmm, let me see. Let me spread the back of my spoon and see if that helps with the sticking. A little bit. Okay, that looks pretty flat. All right, let's put this one in the oven. I'll do a quick change here. Then we'll come back and finish up the chocolate one. We'll get this one in the oven. All right, here we go, seven minutes. Now remember, this gives you a stopping point. So you're gonna push it in right to that arrow. Here, hold it and let everything focus. There you go. You should hear the door drop like it did. That one is in. The timer is set. Let's see if we can get this one in in time. Now, yeah, the memories for me. Lots of them. If you have any memories or have a favorite Easy Bake video, let me know in those comments. YouTube recently made another change to this system. and change the look and the feel and the format of all the pages, including channel pages. I don't know if anybody else noticed that in some other changes. So that always has, could have a good effect for some channels and a bad effect for others. So be ready, everybody out there. You just don't know how their changes affect you. And that's what happened to us. We were really hit hard by the subscription change. Uh, we still have an issue and it's not gonna get fixed that we see. And then we got hit with that algorithm change where criteria that were really that was really benefiting us now changed to other channels. So a bunch of channels, not just our channel, was greatly affected. There we go. This one does look very doughy now. Definitely a different consistency. See that one? I think this is the right consistency. I'm guessing the yellow one, the white cake or uh, fudge should have looked like this. See that? That one's really nice. Okay. All right, this one looks pretty much ready. And I guess the whole goal for me is to eat these old mixes. Not recommended, but they do say their mixes don't expire. At least that's what I read online. Okay. I'll come back then and take the first one out of the oven. All right, so the first one is going to get pushed out. I will be working on this part here, and it gets pushed out all the way to this spot. 
and then it'll rest in here. So we won't get a good look at it just yet. Let's push that in and you know when you've reached it. And then let's get this chocolate one in and reset the timer. Okay. And maybe we'll take a sneak peek at that other one. Let me just get this timer reset so I can stay on track. Start. Okay. Oh, it looks like it has somewhat, yeah, melted and looks like it almost cream of, ooh, it's sliding. All right. So it looks like it did cook it. So now it said, let that sit for 15 minutes before I cut it. So next time I come back, I'll be taking out the chocolate one and moving the vanilla one, right? Chocolate and vanilla to the tabletop and we'll let them both cool. And then of course I am going to cut them and try them. All right, here we go. First one coming out. So it hasn't completely cooled. Looks like it has set though. And it sure does look like fudge. All right, let's push this one through. I'll be back and keep the process going. This is the last one anyway, so I will be back. Well, actually, you know what? Let's just take this one out. I can let it cool here so we can take a quick look at it. Oh yeah, look at that, nice. All right, so there's my two fudges. Easy bake fudge. I've never, oh, my camera's getting a little wonky there. Sorry about that. Okay, and then I will come back and uh, we will uh, cut them up and give them a taste. All right, here we go, the most exciting part. Now let me show you what we ended up with. There is the chocolate. Now the box shows frosting, but I kept the chocolate frosting for the cake because the cake also showed frosting. And this one kind of looks like it has a light layer of frosting on it. But as you can see, this is almost purely white. And this one is, hmm, mid-range, I would guess. All right, let's see now. Now they didn't rise in any particular way, so it looks like they have stayed at the shape they were. Let's just see if I can cut this across here. I can. It does have a very fudge-like consistency to it. Let's get a little piece of fudge out. Well, that first piece is always a challenge, right? There we go. There is the vanilla. Mm, I'm not going to eat much more than that. I'll just take a little niblet of that. I don't think I want to eat too much of that. Now, people have asked in comments, have you ever gotten sick? No, I have not. From an older mix like this. And I can say I've never had a problem. Let's just see if we can get it this way, sideways. There, that one came out a little bit better. Okay, that one doesn't look too bad, does it? All right, let's take a niblet of the vanilla. Let's sniff it. Okay. It definitely has a fudge-like consistency. The flavor is almost like, I don't know if you've ever walked into an old garage and you just smelled everything in there, kind of like that. All right, let's try this one. That one's a little better. You get chocolate taste, but you don't get as much of the old garage flavor. Well, that's about all I can do for you on that one. I need to know from everybody out there if you think you're gonna enjoy this series, because I plan on doing, getting all my old mixes out and experimenting with them like this and bringing out some different ovens that uh, you have seen but have not been shown to the public in a very long time. And if you could help out in any way, it would be to, if you start a video, try and finish a video. If you walk away from a video, that to YouTube looks like, hmm, that channel's no good. We better not feature them anymore. Or if I put up two videos a day, if you only watch one, they also think, well, wait a minute, they might not like that channel. That channel needs to go away. That's kind of what's happening in a way. I'm not sure if that's the exact reason, but that's part of it. They have a lot of different factors. So let me know in those comments. Thanks for watching and supporting Lucky Penny Shop. I'll have other links in the description. I do appreciate it. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. 
What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up. <laughs>